<sighs> okay, well, I guess we'll just do it this way since apparently Don't I'm not getting the chance. I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting the chance to be able to uh stream today because the stream is cut out like three times in a row. So I'm sorry about that. I wanted to stream because obviously I could be I could be streaming for like six, seven hours and just keep going. I keep talking, keep going. But if it cuts out twice, then that's usually just a bad sign. <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess I'll go back to doing my silver wind stuff. I'm sorry about that. I wish it could be better. Uh, whatever. This is high rank. I gotta remember that. I don't need to care. I just need to kill. Remember, remember. But like I was saying, like, yeah, um... So let me just talk faster here. Um, yeah, I'm just so seamless on this now. But yeah, they're making a new Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Wild. The first trailer felt like it actually had like a lot to really do with the game, I guess. It showed, even though it didn't really explain shit, it just showed off some random great sword gameplay. We didn't really have time to like really delve into it. It just kind of felt like a mash of video clips between both cinematic story cutscenes and great sword gameplay. So it just felt like push three buttons, get me. Uh, no, they want to push this But yeah, it's just, yeah, I get there's these new, like, bear or whatever, they travel in packs, but look kind of like it. It's like seeing a Bond Bro, it's like, if that's the first thing you start off with, okay, but if you don't really show us anything, you can it the whole time. I'm not exactly going to be, like, really inclined to be, like, this guy. Like, we want fast-paced riveting gameplay, but you keep showing us, like, the bare minimum. And, I don't know, it just seems like a bad design decision. I mean, you don't really show us anything that's going to be anything we can, like, really take away from what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Um, does it look good? Like, everybody's going to talk about graphics till the sun shows up, so I'm I'm not really just going to say, oh, it looks good, oh, it looks great, oh, it looks like that. I mean, some of the monsters do seem a little bit overly detailed, because you can't even tell what their face looks like. <laughs> or at least, like, a few of them, like, starting out anyway, but we haven't really seen much. Um, I don't know. People want me to do, like, you know, an in, you know, in-depth video of like everything I've seen on it and just ask me and I'll and I'll put something together. I'll bring back my editing to do a little comparison on stuff and you know, put pictures so you know what I'm talking about. Because I could speak about everything from experience, but I don't think we're seeing the same thing. Um uh, then I saw this new Leviathan. I thought it was a worm. I thought it was a snake, but apparently it's a Leviathan. So everybody's saying, oh, well, Legiacris might come back. But again, it's like, I'm not really sold on this being a big game as much as people say. Like, I guess it could have it in the game, but at launch, you gotta, like, really inspire me that there's going to be, like, all these crazy things. Right now, you got me thinking the game is, like, a desert simulator. <laughs> all I see is sand. I'm not... I'm not a fan of sand, bruh. Dragon Ball Z Wasteland? Yeah, I get that, because they're just doing destructive shit the whole time. There's nothing out there, you know? Fight where the people aren't. But... 
when it comes to Monster Hunter, it's like, is everything I'm gonna fight in the desert? Because it's just kind of bumming me out. <laughs> I don't mean in a bad way, I'm just saying it's like nothing but dirt. Nothing but sand dunes. It's like, it's like the Monster Hunter movie. It just doesn't really feel like there's any location. It's like, you gotta give me some sustenance. I'm dry. I'm parched. <laughs> I'm parched even. Um, so I'm not really excited about that. Um, there, yeah, the big event where they were trying to reveal the second trailer had less gameplay... Well, had even less gameplay. Even less gameplay than the second. So it's like if you thought it was already like nothing to see. Well now there's really nothing to see, because Because I still don't Because I still don't see anything, and it's like I just want to see some gameplay. I want to see weapons that I'm familiar with. Don't worry me. But all they show is game. You know, you show me great swords, I might eventually understand, but then you have the nerve to use a bow I mean, we're already rarely seeing any gameplay. Then you want to take like two shots when you're running around and like the fight and bring things away. And it's like. Still not seeing. What are we looking at? You know, I just you gotta give me a reason to be inspired here. I don't see shit. Basically, nothing simulator. At least to me, anyway. I don't mean that in a bad way. He just decided to keep moving forward. Anyway. I don't want to call it that, but that's what it's going to be. I mean, yeah, there's some new monster mechanics, yeah, there's travel attacks, oh my goodness, this American is like, the lead. Didn't even know you guys were here. So here we are, and... Uh, I cut off his tail in the middle of that one. I cut off his tail in the middle of their grapple? You can do that. This is new to me, it just flew off so casually, but okay. Sorry, Barrett. you're probably not going to be in the next game. Although, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't make him like a regular returning monster. I mean, unless this is just the, the you know, you know, we're bringing it out in 2025 to give us another, you know, more ideas, because the last two games we literally had the same monsters from the previous game before that one in both of our new games, so it's like, if they feel like they're running out of ideas, I can kind of get behind that, but I just don't know. I can. I can. I can. Didn't even know I could. Hey, hey. Bro, I fell off. If you don't succeed, try, try again. Why can I not get on your back? Bum ass motherfucker. <sighs> Wait, I don't know. It's just, I feel like, I mean, you're trying to push the graphics. I get it, but you're trying to push the graphics on monsters we've never seen before, so we don't really have a comparison. Like, I bet they're good. I bet they're the greatest things in sliced bread, but I don't know what you want me to see. Like, what's the comparison? Like, we've seen fluffiness, but I don't know if this is just how this creature looks because of how it's designed or or what like i don't have anything to really compare it to you give me the sand leviathan whatever i'm never gonna remember these names by the way so don't ask me to remember them <laughs> but you know i mean its texture looks like kind of like alma drawn but also like barrett so i mean there's something at least Kind of, but there's still something. Barely, but it's still noticeable. So they, there's a little bit there. Um, I gotta hurry, I got like 20 minutes more. But it's just not really selling much to me on that note. Uh, 
Yeah, I just feel like, and then they then they want to say, oh well, we have, oh well, I guess we're they're showing this new flagship early, I guess, some kind of lightning dragon. I mean, dragons are cool, but a flying wyvern that has lightning isn't exactly something to be like head over heels like just in shock about or at least to me because when it comes to lightning monsters and flying you know there's there's a lot of them out there you know monster hunter has had like a bunch of them like in all due respect they literally had a bunch of them so i don't really know why they're trying to act like this one's so cool oh you get into his domain it'll fire like uh, whatever at these other creatures just because they're there. But, I don't know, it's in the end. In the end, it's literally just, uh, it, it just seems like another Oscar. Respectfully, what are you doing? Bro, did you not see me? What the hell? Do I have stealth on this build or some shit? My man literally lost me when I was like right behind him. I was literally like right in front of him the entire time and he lost me. And I cut off his tail. Give me a robber. And I'm on his head. You know, high rank is a different type of game when you just be doing three things at the same time. But, like I was saying, like... I kind of, I know people don't want to have the same thing forever, nobody does, but, you know, I feel like, I don't know, obviously they were pretty good if people are just going to keep bringing them back, and we want to keep seeing our best monsters put to the best, it's like, it's like a street fighter when you think about it, you know, we want to see those same characters we play all the time, in fact, that way we don't have to ever really change them. I know that's not what they intended. But that's just kind of how that goes, you know? It's just kind of part of the series. Like, if Rathalos comes back, obviously you expect to see every version of Rathalos. I'll take it. I could have stopped him, but I don't have the right box. Yeah, it's like, we're always going to see Rathlos. He's the face of the series, so everybody's going to obviously want to see a different monster. But I guess they're going in the direction of, we're going to create completely new creatures. We're not going to have, like, the same copy and paste stuff, aside for Rathlos, um, that were in every single game, you know? I mean, I feel like if that was the case, then they, you know, eventually they just try to show off Rathalos as like a tutorial monster. Just to make sure you know how to play the game. <laughs> just so you know how to play the game and how to fight against flying mechanics and stuff like that. I feel like that would be the only reason. <sighs> you didn't see the tears in my eyes, but. Um. Yeah, this is the silver one, by the way. It, it does damage. Um, but yeah, anyway. I, I just wanna... I wanna be able to like it, but I don't want them to have the same... I don't want them to, like, have a new gimmick that's just gonna be something that you can over-focus on. Because Wirebugs and Rise were kind of the reason I stopped playing it. Because it was just... Well, this armor lets you have more of them. This armor gives you two the more you keep having it. This armor is busted because it means you don't have to sharpen. You just have to flip stances of skills and stuff. And it's like, when I played GU, I felt good when I used skills. Like, even if they didn't look, do damage, even if we didn't have, like, damage numbers and they didn't look like they did crazy amounts of damage, it still felt like... Not gonna lie, I still felt like I was doing damage. I did the Moon Song with the Great Sword, and it felt like the coolest move. I literally did a front flip. <laughs> and then I discovered over time it was just basically a move that Guts uses in Berserk, and it was still cool to do. But now I just feel like, you know, when you do something cool, 
that you're not able to do in normal gameplay for every single fight or every single encounter that feels like the most powerful moves but when you get when you like have a chance to do them over and over and over again it doesn't really feel fun you know what i mean it's like when you fight a super boss version of a character and you get pissed off because they keep throwing out their like super art every single hit they do like a single hit into super and it's like annoying as hell and then you know they do a punch into super and then you have to see it so many times over and over again that it just you get tired of looking at it and it's not because you're getting hit by it but it's because you're expecting them to do something else so it isn't like so relied upon it's like doing the greatsword counter is cool, but it makes you look dumb when you miss. <laughs> and there's a lot of moves that can't be countered, so it just... If your entire build is just based on, like, greatsword countering for the win, it's like... Oh, well, now I have to fight against a monster that's only going to try to hit me once, and not still overpower me when it does so. So, it's like... It's debatable. I didn't fail you, you were failed by the ecology. But yeah, I just don't want to like over rely on some new gimmick. It's like just because it's effective doesn't make it good. We cut off the tail for good in this game but I you know, it's just when you do when you overly do stuff it's like not as fun so obviously you don't want to like over you don't want to do you don't want to just do the same gimmick over and over just because it gives you a few options with the gimmick or because it gives you damage and it's like it's hard to enjoy a fight if you have all the moves you gotta earn the moves, you gotta you gotta build up the meter, it's like Street Fighter, you gotta get your level 1, level 2, you can only get these moves the more you actually are fighting. being like that, but that's just the honest truth, like, like working for me. But yeah, just basically, uh, gotta get the meter. Gotta earn it. You gotta have a reason for it, other than just throwing it out blindly. It's like what Ken says, think before you just fire, throw out attacks blindly, <laughs> whether they're going to hit or not. <laughs> and that shit just really stuck with me, because it's like, why do people get hit half the time? Why do people die half the time? Because they're trying to do some big move, then they have no recovery, and then they just kind of get blown up for it. It's like whiffing a DP. So, when you say, when you start talking like that, it's like, ugh. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do another video since I got so off topic. I know each of the points I was trying to make in this video or of another video I'm watching, it's like, uh, I didn't really get to see the game UI either, because they, again, I don't think they've shown it off. So I haven't really seen an actual hunt yet. 
showing a limited amount of people a hunt, uh, or at least a full hunt, doesn't show everybody else. So everybody else is just basically hearing all this without seeing it, so then, you know, we're still going to be skeptical, because at that point, it's like... It's like when somebody gets a vision of God promising them, so they speak on it, and it's like, what the fuck are they talking about? And then we got Jesus and the disciples preaching what they saw, and it's like, okay, just because, like, two to five people say it's true doesn't exactly mean shit. So, in that type of context, you could possibly say that until we actually all see it for ourselves, we aren't gonna believe nothing. So yeah, there might be some YouTubers that show us, but in the end, I mean, are we really gonna see anything that's gonna be life-changing or shit like that? Because I don't know. I wanna, I wanna believe, but it's hard for me to believe with such, with such little evidence. I like having evidence because it shows me truth. Right now, we got like probably 20 to 30 like YouTubers out there, Monster Hunter reviewers or whatever, and they're saying theory this theory that speculation discussion this and that and it's like why would i listen to a single thing you say when i know none of it's probably gonna be true oh my god i probably need a barnos jacket but i'm not worried about it I have a pretty good memory where these fuckers spawn. But since... Um, I think I have an idea. Um, but, um... It's just gonna be really hard to, like, really believe it without seeing it. I'm not the type of guy who's just gonna believe there's a wolf because everybody cries wolf. That's just not my style or my motto, so... Maybe I'm ignorant. I don't know. Maybe. I just like seeing, I like seeing receipts instead of just hearing the actual word because then it tells me that there's something to actually look forward to. So, I guess I'm based. <laughs> I'm the based 1%. Oh, he's already dead, that's crazy. That's actually not bad, like... But yeah, I, I just like seeing actual proof. I mean, they say the UI is good. It's a Monster Hunter game. I'm pretty sure the UI isn't going to change all that much. How much time have I got? Like eight minutes. So we'll talk about that. I mean, UI is UI. They could, they could literally use the same I, AI. Uh, they could use the same UI as in this game. Because I mean. They literally are trying to say that this game is like a sequel to Monster Hunter World. And I'm like, well, if it's a sequel, then why wouldn't it look the same? It's basically the same game, but different world. It's like showing up in the Iceborne before you see any world monsters. It's completely different experience on both sides. You're going to see something new whether you want to or not without seeing the old, whether you want to or not. So, I mean, when they say it like that, oh, uh, if it's a sequel, why why don't we see the same monsters from World? <laughs> if you're saying it's a sequel to World, you may as well call it Monster Hunter Wilds. Ice, I don't know. I mean, you know they're eventually going to have an expansion. I mean, either that or they're, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how much space this game is. Because they're saying the maps are twice as big. I don't know what the biggest map in this game would be. They said the Horfrost Reach. But you gotta also remember that that could mean one of two things. You know, just because they say the map is bigger doesn't mean it's probably gonna be bigger. You can have a lot of fucking, you know, you could say that and your map might look like a Denny's parking lot. Like Rise. But I'm not trying to shit on Rise the entire time. This video is not to shit on Rise. No. It's not a shitting on Rise video. This is different. I'm just trying to say that, you know, it's got to be different. Monster Hunter World uh, maps are big by design because they have levels. They got this big base level, and then they have a mid sub level, or one. They each of the maps have like one 
either one to two or one to three uh, sizes, and they are built either by latitude or longitude, or they're horizontal or vertical. You know, you can go up to the top of the tree, you can go up to the top of a map, and it, you know, still, all these places, you can still fight monsters in all of them. So, I mean, you look at the guiding lands, and you're like, yo, this is one big-ass map for all these locations. And then you still have to remember that with Monster Hunter, uh, you know, you still have to think that the guiding lands is like, it's still only going to have three monsters in it. So, yeah, you're gonna see a fuck ton of monsters, but, you know, they're still gonna be in a very limited, a very, you're gonna probably see three big monsters in general, and then everything else is literally just gonna be something small. That's, that's usually how it goes. You get a giant, and then everything else in the locale is just small. Small miniature versions, or just really small so you don't even think about them and that's just kind of how it goes I might, I, you know, I'm still, you know, when they say that the game's gonna be, like, old, you know, I've been hoping to have faith in a game that was so-called gonna be world. Ooh. Hope you like that, you gave me the energy for it. Um, yeah. So, I wanna trust it, I wanna play it, I just don't know if I'm gonna have any fun with it. I mean, we got... How many maps do we have in Iceborne? Well, as, you know, as collective... I say Iceborne with the word collective in mind. Because, you know, all the maps together, there's like... There's a map for every biome, and then you literally have the Guiding Lands, which is supposed to be a map of all the biomes in one spot. So it's like... a gigantic collection of everything at the same time. Which, personally, I thought that was a good idea. Because, I mean, hey, you get a lot. I don't know where I'm going. There's, like, supposed to be, like, a few more... Whatever, gastrodon. This is gonna take me a moment. <laughs> but... I'm... I'm just... I'm... I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical because I don't know. I want it to be good, but I have my worries. Especially in, in this age of... A like, in this age of gaming, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. When you show off more cutscenes than you show off gameplay, because when Monster Hunter World came out, they literally started with gameplay. You were in the world, you were walking through like tunnels and shit, and you like you didn't know what was gonna be. You didn't know what it was gonna be, so you were like, well, he's in this big world. Okay, that's a giant T-Rex. Okay, now the T-Rex is fighting him. Okay, now there's a red dragon picking up the T-Rex and dropping his head. <laughs> it, it just felt so, like, cinematic, but it was in-game gameplay. So it was like, yeah, this stuff is here. So, sky's the limit. I'm at I wanted to parry him. Yeah, so it was literally in-game, in-action. You got to see it at face value. Not everything was a cutscene. Like, I get there's cutscenes, but save the cutscenes for when the game comes out. That way it feels cooler and more polished. It's like trying to... It's like Assass what Assassin's Creed Shadows tried to do. They tried to show off nothing but cinematics. And then show you how much the game costs. Before they even show you the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> and you can already see where this is going for them anyway this maybe he's just got to give me a little bit more sustenance give me some more promise and maybe you know we'll continue this in the next video but you just 
Substance before taste testing. Give us something to eat before we decide to even order. 